Good afternoon. U.S. Attorney General William Barr was in Albuquerque today to talk about Operation Triple Beam. He says his agency set their sights on the metro to deal with what he calls a violent crime crisis. It resulted in the arrest of 327 violent felons. News 13's Francesca Washington is here with more. Murder, drugs and assault were just a few of the charges the more than 300 people were arrested for during this 90 day operation. Unfortunately, Albuquerque has been one of those cities where violent crime rates remain too high. And as John mentioned, my top priority as attorney general is to continue the fight against violent crime. Federal officials say they arrested 10 people wanted for murder, 13 for sex crimes, and 91 on drug charges. While the operation focused on the Albuquerque area, more than seven dozen were arrested in the Santa Fe and Farmington communities. While Attorney General Barr says he was happy with the operation's results, he decided to call out New Mexico for not keeping dangerous suspects behind bars. Unfortunately, the system in New Mexico is subpar. It's not doing its job of keeping violent offenders off the streets. The attorney general also says our judicial system is not using our laws effectively to keep suspects locked up until trial. Authorities say among the arrest are 25 year old Christian Gonzalez, who was wanted in connection to a carjacking, along with 42 year old Robert Padilla, who was wanted by the DEA for selling cocaine. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Francesca. There were also a lot of arrests of gang members. Operation Triple Beam also confiscated 43 guns and 50 pounds of meth, much of it laced with fentanyl. It's a new problem, Barr says, is surging in our state. He says most of all these crimes they dealt with are linked to drugs. He says Albuquerque's crime rate is about 3.7 times the national average.